Hello fellow simmers, Captain Pete here and another easy flight tutorial. In today's short tutorial let's chat about holding the center line during takeoff, landing and taxiing. Oh boy. So let's hop into the cockpit and get started. Now in a large aircraft like the A320, the one we're in at the moment, um, it might seem a little daunting trying to hold the center line. Sitting this high up from the ground, um, it certainly is. Now let me show you a really easy way of holding the center line in this aircraft and any other aircraft. Let's go outside one more time. As you can see, the plane is perfectly centered on the center line. And if we jump back into the cockpit, it's not so. The center line seems to be in the middle, uh, in this case, the captain's view. So the easiest way to keep you on the center line and I have found this trick to work tremendously is to imagine that this white line is running all the way down under the plane and between your legs so coming all the way down the center of the plane and if you can imagine looking down if there was uh, a way to visualize this uh, center line here it would be between your legs right now, let's move over to the first officer seat. And there we go, between the legs, and let's hop outside, and again, perfectly on the center line. So, it works on both sides of the aircraft. Uh, I'm sure that this is the way a real world pilots taxi. Let me know in the description if there are any real world pilots watching, if this is the way you do it. For me, the easiest thing to do is to keep the center line running between your legs, in my case between my legs, and we should stay on the center line. So now we're going to take off and we're going to um, just do a circuit of, uh, of this airport, this is Cape Town International Airport. We're going to take off, do a circuit and land and do the same thing try and stay on the center line and we're then going to taxi to the airport. So let's get going and park brake off and toga so for the sake of this tutorial we're not going to do any fancy settings this tutorial is all about holding the center line i will do another tutorial soon covering the correct procedure for circuit flights okay and 140 let's rotate Positive rate, gear up. So I'm going to stop the recording um, at this point and resume just before touchdown. 400. So here we are approaching um, the runway and remember we are going to try and keep the center line using the method we spoke about earlier. Okay, we're going to get ready to 200. disconnect the autopilot and let's do that uh, now. 100, 50, 40, and on 30, the center line, 20, holding car, that center line. Five. There we go, holding the center line. Waiting for 70 knots. And there is 70 knots, so we can start. And there we are. So let's stop just right here. And there we are. Right in the middle and on the center line. And I must say, I'm pretty happy with that landing. Okay, so let's start to taxi. Okay, park brake off. And just a little bit of throttle, and off we go. So, 
So same thing applies. We are going to just let the nose drift forward a little bit and then we're going to make the turn so that when we straighten up, we're on the center line. Uh, just gentle turn and line between the legs. We are going to just stop uh, at the hold mark. Let's stop right here again. Depart brake and let's go outside. And my friends, there we are, back on the center line. Now, another little trick I'd like to give you. You know, when you've landed and you've completed your flight and you get to this stage I'm sure many of you go right shall I just randomly choose a gate how do you know which gates ready for you and you haven't selected this in pre-flight well it's quite easy all you need to do is have a look for the catering truck catering truck is your indicator that that particular gate is waiting for you so let's go and do that and pop break off and off we go clear on the left clear on the right i haven't injected any aircraft into this airport so that we can have a clear airport for this demonstration and again we're keeping it between the legs This is where we're going to be, A8. Again, let the nose drift a little over the line. And we're going to make a full turn. And there's our catering truck. And every other service vehicle is waiting here for us. Now it's not always that the, the person guiding you in is there unfortunately so we have to go outside and just make sure that we have our nose wheel run along let's switch off the landing lights run along this a line until we reach um, this little t-junction right here so Let's uh, again release the brake and just gently get to this. Almost there. Right, and brakes. And there we go. Absolutely perfect. Park brake back on and let's call for ground power and use pushback for this which is a great program i will uh, do a, another tutorial on this let's get the ground power first and it's now available for us so we can click uh, the ground power which means we can now switch off the engines and power will come from outside and let's go back up and we will retract the lights switch off all the other lights beautiful and we can switch off the seat belts signs and now we can go outside and this is the vehicle that's providing the power to the aircraft 
we can now get the catering truck and the baggage and also the jetway and there's the baggage doors opening jetway if there were um, a few things that you were a little unsure of as far as taxing is concerned uh, that center line arriving at your appropriate gate um, I hope that I've explained this in enough detail for you to understand and until next time um, this is Captain Pete and his short tutorials if this tutorial was useful to you kindly subscribe and also kindly hit that like button um, and give us a thumbs up button and help me to grow this channel and I'll bring you lots of little hints like this that will help you get in your plane quick and easy and take off and fly and enjoy flight simulator until next time my friends goodbye